Fortaleza, Fortaleza, locally, Portuguese for fortress, is the state capital of Serra, located in northeastern Brazil. It belongs to the metropolitan Mesa region of Fortaleza and micro region of Fortaleza. Located 2,285 kilometers, 1,420 miles, from Brasilia, the federal capital, the city has developed on the banks of the Creek Paju, and its name is an allusion to Fort Schoonenborg, which gave rise to the city, built by the Dutch during their second stay in the area between 1649 and 1654. The motto of Fortaleza, present in its coat of arms, is the Latin word fortituden, which means with strength slash courage. In 2013, Fortaleza was the 12th richest city in the country in GDP and second in the Northeast, with 49 billion yish, 21 billion US dollars. It also has the third richest metropolitan area in the North and Northeast regions. It is an important industrial and commercial center of Brazil, the eighth nation's largest municipal purchasing power. According to the Ministry of Tourism, the city reached the marks of second most desired destination of Brazil and fourth Brazilian city that receives more tourists. The BR-116, the most important highway of the country, starts in Fortaleza. The municipality is part of the common market of Mercosur cities, and also the Brazilian capital which is closest to Europe, 5,608 kilometers, 3,484 miles, from Lisbon, Portugal. To the north of the city lies the Atlantic Ocean, to the south are the municipalities of Pacatuba, Uzebu, Maracanau and Atenga. To the east is the municipality of Aquiras and the Atlantic Ocean, and to the west is the municipality of Gaucaya. Residents of the city are known as Fortalezenses. Fortaleza is one of the three leading cities in the northeast region together with Recife and Salvador. The city was one of the host cities of the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Fortaleza's history began on February 2, 1500, when Spaniard Vicente Pinzon landed in Mucurites Cove and named the new land Santa Maria de la Consolacion. Because of the Treaty of Tordesillas, the discovery was never officially sanctioned. Colonization began in 1603, when the Portuguese Pero Coelho de Sousa constructed the fort of Santiago and founded the settlement of Nova Lisboa, New Lisbon. After a victory over the French in 1612, Martin Soares Moreno expanded the fort of Santiago and changed its name to Forte de São Sebastião. In 1630 the Dutch invaded the Brazilian Northeast and in 1637 they took the fort of São Sebastião and ruled over Serra in battles with the Portuguese and natives in 1644 the fort was destroyed. Under Captain Matthias Beck the Dutch West Indies Company built a new fortress be the banks of River Paju. Fort Schoonenborch, graceful stronghold, officially opened on August 19, 1649. After the capitulation of Parabuku in 1654, the Dutch handed over this fortress to the Portuguese, who renamed it Fortaleza de Nossa Senhora de Asuncel, Fort of Our Lady of the Assumption, after which the city of Fortaleza takes its name. Fortaleza was officially founded as a village 1726, becoming the capital of Serra State in 1799. During the 19th century, Fortaleza was consolidated as an urban center in Serra, supported by the cotton industry. With the transformation of the city into a regional export center and with the increase of direct navigation to Europe, the customs building of Fortaleza was built in 1812. Silva Paulet played an important role in the structural evolution of the city, erecting works like the Fortaleza de Nossa Senhora de Asuncel, Fortress of Our Lady of the Assumption, in 1812, in the place of what remained of the old fort, and the public promenade in 1820, besides having been the author of the first urban plan of the city also in 1812. In 1824, the city was targeted by the revolutionaries of Confederation of the Equator. Especially in the second half of the century, as a result of the fertile cotton era, the city was seized by a great period of urban development and construction of remarkable equipment, such as the Lyceum of Sira and the Lighthouse of Mucuripe in 1845, Santa Casa de Misericordia in 1861, the Prana Seminar in 1864 the water supply system in 1866, the public library in 1867, the public prison in 1870, the Sierra Railroad Network, the Fortaleza support on the Ponte Metallica, textile factories, intellectual centers and communication vehicles, for example. The period was marked as the Bell Epoca Fortaleza, representing a time of economic consecration that was reflected in areas such as architecture, culture and intellectual production. Between the years 1846 and 1877, the city went through a period of enrichment, economic and infrastructural improvement. 
development. In order to discipline the growth of the city, Adolfo Herbster continued the urban planning scheme conceived by Silva Paulet in 1818, characterized by a checkerboard street grid, and, inspired by the reforms carried out in Paris by Baron Osman, designed the topographic plan of the fortress and suburbs in 1875 a definitive landmark of municipal urbanism. In the 1870s and 1880s, the Syria abolitionist movement and the Republican ideals that culminated in the liberation of these slaves in Syria on March 25, 1884, four years before the Golden Law came into being and were strengthened. The main event of the abolitionist cause of Kira in the capital was the popular uprising, between January 27 and 31, 1881, led by the dragon-headed raiders, who ended the slave trade in the capital fueling the state libertarian impetus and national level. The intellectuals of the literary movement of the spiritual bakery, which emerged in 1892, greatly contributed to the diffusion of progressive ideas in Fortaleza. In the 20th century, Fortaleza underwent significant urban changes, with improvements and the rural exodus to the city, with growth mostly towards the end of the decade of 1910, this made the city the seventh most populated city in Brazil. In 1922, Fortaleza reached its first 100,000 inhabitants with the annexation of the cities of Mesajana and Parangaba, now important districts of the city. In 1954, the first university in the city was created, the Universidade Federal do Ciri UFC. In 1983, DeFi started to integrate the territory of the new city of Maracanao, which, just some years ago, was made again part of the Greater Fortaleza, the city's metropolitan area. In the 1980s, Fortaleza exceeded Recife in population terms, becoming the second most populous city in northeastern Brazil, with 2,571,896 inhabitants. During the political awakening that followed the military regime, the people elected the city's first woman mayor, Maria Luisa Fontanil of the Brazilian Workers' Party, which meant that the city administration was controlled by a party of the center-left. At the end of the 20th century, the administration of the city hall and the city underwent a range of structural changes with the opening of several avenues, hospitals, cultural spaces and it became one of the main tourist destinations in the northeast and in Brazil. Fortaleza has a typical tropical climate, specifically a tropical wet and dry climate, with high temperatures and relative humidity throughout the year. However, these conditions are usually relieved by pleasant winds blowing from the ocean. Average temperatures are not much different throughout the year. December is the warmest month, with a high of and low of. The rainy season spans from January to June, with rainfall particularly prodigious in March and April. The average annual temperature is. The relative humidity in Fortaleza is 79%, with average annual rainfall of. There is usually rain during the first seven months of the year from January to July. During this period, Relative humidity is high. Fortaleza's climate is usually very dry from August to December, with very little rainfall. Rainfall is like all of northeastern Brazil among the most variable in the world, comparable, for similar average annual rainfalls, to central Queensland cities like Townsville and Mackay. In the notorious drought year of 1877, as little as fell, and in 1958 only, but in the Nordeste's record wet year of 1985, Fortaleza received. In Fortaleza there are some remaining areas of mangrove and preserved areas. The municipality contains the Pedro de Risca do Mayo Marine State Park created in 1997 to support an offshore area of reefs of ecological and tourist importance. The vegetation of Fortaleza is typically coastal. The Rischink areas are found in dune regions near the mouths of the Sierra, Caco and Pacati rivers, in the beds of which there is still a mangrove forest. In other green areas of the city, there is no longer native vegetation constituting a varied vegetation, fruit trees more commonly. The city is home to seven environmental conservation units. These are the Sabiagua the Dunes Municipal Natural Park, the Sabiagua the Environmental Protection Area, the Mariponga Lagoon Ecological Park, the Coco Ecological Park, the Sierra River Estuary Environmental Protection Area, the Environmental Protection Area of the Rio Pacati and the Pedra de Risca do Mayo Marine State Park. There is also, in the city, the area of relevant ecological interest of Sirio Curio, that protects the last enclave of Atlantic forest in the urban zone. The Coco River is part of the river basin of the east coast of Sierra and has a total length of about 50 kilometers in its main area. The park is inserted in the area of greater environmental sensitivity of the city, where it is possible to identify geo-environmental formations such as coastal plain, 
fluvial plain and surface of the coastal trays. The Cocoa River mangrove is home to mollusks, crustaceans, fish, reptiles, birds and mammals. The park has a structure of visitation, with guides, ecological trails and equipment and events of environmental education and ecotourism. The Cosa River, affluent of the River Caco, forms in its bed the lagoon of the pre -Cabura. The Rio Pacati provides much of the water supply for Fortaleza. At the municipal boundary with Gaucaya, the estuary of the Rio Sierra is covered by an Environmental Protection Area, APA, which was set up in 1999. According to the 2010 IBISH census, there were 2,315,116 people residing in the city of Fortaleza. The census revealed the following numbers, 1,403,292 Pardo, multiracial, people, 57.2%. 901,816 white people, 36.8%, 110,811 black people, 4.5%, 33,161 Asian people, 1.4%, 3,071 Amerindian people, 0.1%. In 2010, the city of Fortaleza was the fifth most populous city proper in Brazil, after Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, and Brasilia. In 2010, the city had 433,942 opposite-sex couples and 1,559 same-sex couples. The population of Fortaleza was 53.2% female and 46.8% male. The following cities are included in the metropolitan area of Fortaleza, ordered by population, Fortaleza, Caucaya, Maracanau, Marangape, Aquiras, Pacatuba, Pacajas, Horizonte. São Gonçalo do Amaranchi, Itachinka, Guayuba, and Corozinho. According to a genetic study from 2011, pardos and whites from Fortaleza, which comprise the largest share of the population, showed up a degree of European ancestry of about 70%, being the rest basically divided between Native American and African ancestries. A 2015 study, however, found out the following composition in Fortaleza, 48, 9% of European contribution, 35, 4% of Native American input and 15, 7% of African ancestry. The prevailing religion of Fortaleza is the Roman Catholic branch of Christianity, due to the influence of Portuguese settlers and missionaries during the colonial rule of Brazil. Source, IBH 2000. According to the census of 2010, 1,664,521 people, 67.88% of the population, Followed Roman Catholicism, 523,456, 21.35%, were Protestant, 31,691, 1.29%, represented Spiritism and 162,985, 6.65%, had no religion whatsoever. Other religions, such as Umbanda, Condomble, other Afro-Brazilian religions, Spiritualism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, other Eastern religions, esotericism and other Christian churches like Mormon had a smaller number of adherents. The administration of the municipality is made from the executive and legislative branches. Roberto Claudio, of the PDT, won 650,607 votes in the 2012 election, and was elected mayor. Legislative power rests with the City Council of Fortaleza, composed of 43 city councillors, elected for four-year terms responsible for drafting municipal laws and supervising the executive. The municipality is, in addition, governed by organic law. In January 2015, there were 1,659091 voters in Fortaleza, 26,457% of the total state, distributed in 13 electoral zones. The number of persons directly and indirectly employed in the municipal public administration in 2013 was respectively 31,318 and 4,950. The city also houses the seat of state executive power, the Abolition Palace, occupied by Governor Camilo Santana, of the PT, elected in the general elections in Brazil in 2014. Historically headquarters of the Irasema Club, which was ceded to the Municipal Hall and now houses municipal executive bodies. In the city, there is the administrative center Governor Virgilio Devora. Fortaleza is also the regional headquarters of several federal government institutions. Among the military institutions present in the city, are located in the Fortaleza Air Base, an important military aviation milestone during World War II, 
a port authority of Sira, a school of apprentice sailors off Sira and the command of the 10th military region. The city also has units of the International Committee of the Red Cross and UNICEF since 1996, a city is part of the common market of cities of Mercosur. At the beginning of the decade of 2000, among the capitals of the Northeast, Fortaleza had the third largest gross domestic product, GDP, being surpassed by Recife and Salvador. In 2012, the GDP of Fortaleza reached the value of 43.4 billion hiash, the tenth highest of the country. In the same year, the value of taxes on products net of subsidies at current prices was R6,612,822,000 and the municipality's GDP per capita was BRL 17.359,53. The city's booming economy is reflected in purchasing power, the country's eighth largest, with estimated consumption potential at 42 billion reais in 2014. The main economic source of the municipality is centered in the tertiary sector with its diversified segments of commerce and service rendering. Next, the secondary sector stands out, with the industrial complexes. In 2012, the percentage contribution of each sector to the municipal economy was 0.07%, 15.8% and 68.8% of the primary, secondary and tertiary sectors, respectively. The wealth of the capital is largely due to activities coming from all over the metropolitan region whose economy is the third strongest in the north and northeast regions and whose population is almost 4 million. In 2012, the city had 69,605 units and 64,674 companies and active commercial establishments, in addition to 873,746 employees and 786,521 salaried employees. Wages, together with other types of remuneration, amounted to 17,103,562 hiash and the average income of the municipality was 2.7 minimum wages. According to the Master Plan of Fortaleza, the special areas for the preservation of historic, cultural and archaeological heritage are the regions of the center, Parangaba, Aligadiso Novo slash Jose de Alancar, Benfica, Porangibusu and Praia de Arizema. Properties of conservation interest. The architectural heritage of Fortaleza in the form of fallen goods, however, is predominantly concentrated in the center of the city. The Mucuripe Lighthouse is unfortunately in ruins today. Sierra and Fortaleza were part of the pioneering group of states and cities to adopt public policies to protect the living and tangible heritage of their culture, through the Masters of Culture program. The cultural life of Fortaleza is diverse and fruitful. Many artists, writers, Painters and singers use the city's busiest stages and squares to stimulate regional culture. Among the theaters, the largest and most popular are Teatro José de Alencar, the stage of the main local and universal culture shows, the São José Theater, the São Luís Cinema Theater, Teatro Real Mar and Teatro Via Sul. The Sierra Museum houses numerous artifacts from the memory of Fortaleza, among pieces of paleontology, archaeology and indigenous anthropology, furniture items of struggles and popular revolts, of religiosity and about the intellectual production and irreverence of Sira. The Dragao do Mar Center of Art and Culture is the main cultural space of Fortaleza. In this center are the Sira Museum of Culture, the Museum of Contemporary Art of Sira, theaters, a planetarium, cinemas, shops and spaces for public presentations, as well as housing the public library Governador Menezes Pimentel. A Porto Irasame of the Arts and the School of Arts and Crafts Tomás Pompo Sobrinho da the Casa de José Alencar is one of the Brazilian museums recognized as dealing with Brazilian literature. It was opened in 1964 and houses art collections, a gallery, a library and the ruins of the first steam power plant in Sira. In the different stairs of the city, the complexes of the Cuca network are spread, which are great facilities dedicated to art, leisure and education, especially for young people. Freemasonry is represented by the Grand Masonic Lodge of Sira and the Great State East of Sira. There are also service clubs in the city, such as the Lions Club and Rotary International. The Sira Handicraft has its main market and showcase in Fortaleza. In the city, there are several specific places for trade and handicraft products, such as the Sira Craft Center, Say Art, Sira Tourism Center, Imster, Crafts Fair of Bayaramar, and on Avenida Monsignor Tabosa. The main literary manifestation of Fortaleza's history emerged at the end of the 19th century, in the cafes of Praça do Ferreira, known as the Spiritual Bakery, 
a pioneer in the dissemination of modern ideas in Brazilian literature that would only be adopted nationally in the following century. In the modern art week. The most important historical entities of high culture still present in the city are the Sira Institute and the Sira Academy of Letters, the first Academy of Letters created in Brazil, founded in 1887 and 1894 respectively. The Sira Institute has helped launch important names in national historiography and philosophy, such as Faria Sprito and Capistrano da Bru. Among the writers who are members of the Quirense Academy of Letters and members or patrons of the Brazilian Academy of Letters, are Gustavo Barroso, Arari Jr., José de Alencar, Heraclito Grassa, Franklin Tabora, Clovis Pevalacqua and Rachel de Quiroz, the first woman to be part of the entity. The Casa de Juvenil Galeno is another historical cultural institution of Fortaleza, named after one of the greatest poets born in the city, Juvenil Galeno. The house became well known for its festivals of poetry and seminaries. In cinema, the most well known name is Zelito Viana, director of films like In Life and Death of Severina. More recently, Karim Inus has directed Madame Sada, Swaley in the Sky and Futuro Beach, and script of Lower City, Cinema, Aspirins and Vultures and Behind the Sun. Another current exponent of cinema born in Fortaleza is Halder Gomez. Director and screenwriter of Hollywood Cinema. New filmmakers in the city have gained in recent years prominent exhibitions such as at the Rio de Janeiro International Film Festival. The most traditional cinema event in Fortaleza is the Cine Sira, Ibero American Film Festival, considered one of the main festivals of the country. The main fashion name in the city is the Who, from Fortaleza, designed himself nationally and internationally and today is one of the main names of Sao Paulo Fashion Week besides being one of the founding designers of this fashion week. There are major events in the city, such as the Dragao Fashion Brazil, considered the largest fashion event in the Northeast and the third largest in the country. Much of the clothing that is produced in Sira flows through Fortaleza, which in turn is recognized as one of the most important textile centers of the country, giving the garment industry great weight in the metropolitan economy. Brands of the city like Santana Textiles and headquarters of brands like Esplanade and Dodic have considerable regional influence. Foro is the most popular musical genre in the city. Bands originating in Fortaleza, such as Mastrus Com Leda and Aviance do Foro, were responsible for the popularization of electronic Foro, which promoted the revaluation of the accordion in the genre and brought it closer to pop music. The Foro Pechicera, however, still holds great cultural influence and commercial prominence in the city. In Musica Popular Brasileira, some of the names from Fortaleza were Fanner, Ednardo, Belchior, from Sobral but lived in Fortaleza, and Amelinha. The musical tradition of Fortaleza, however, goes back to the composer Alberto Nepomuceno, one of the greatest names in classical music in Brazil, a pioneer in the development of the country's musical nationalism, and therefore considered the founder of Brazilian music. The Alberto Nepo Museno Conservatory is one of the city's leading music schools. Fortaleza Carnival season is not as famous as that in other northeastern cities like Salvador or Recife, as the local population prefer to spend the holiday at others beach cities of Sierra. Through the streets of Fortaleza, the carnival brings the samba together with festivities as a celebration of Fortaleza's past and diverse culture. It is particularly notable for its unique style of maracatu known as maracatu Quirance. The gastronomy of Fortaleza is very close to the typical northeastern cuisine, and, traditional include the Bayao de Tua, usually accompanied by barbecue of mutton or meat of sun, and tapioca which is a pancake made from the starch of cassava. The seafood is another ingredient of typical dishes of Fortaleza cuisine, such as the steak moqueca and the mackerel and snapper fish. The fruit of the sea identity of the coast of the state is the crab. Shrimp and lobster are also widely used delicacies in dishes such as shrimp rice or shrimp dumplings. Aquario Sierra, the third largest aquarium in the world, is permanently under construction on the edge of the city. Attractions such as the Beach Park theme park, located in the Great Fortaleza, Avenida Baramar and its bars, restaurants and music clubs, the beaches of Futuro and Iracema and Pirata Bar have placed Fortaleza among the Brazilian destinations preferred by Europeans. Scuba diving is possible in the area of Pedro de Risca do Mayo Marine State Park, a marine protected area located about 10 nautical miles from the shoreline of Fortaleza. Fortaleza has a bout of urban beaches. From north to south, the urban beaches of Fortaleza are Iracema, Mireles, Mucuripe, and Praia do Futuro. Each beach has its own peculiarities.
In 2010, the level of the education factor of the Strengthening Human Development Index was medium, despite its great advance, which went from 0.367 to 0.695 between 1991 and 2010. According to data from the 2010 Human Development Atlas of Brazil, Fortaleza's adult education levels were divided as follows, 8.57% did not complete primary school or were illiterate, 62.43% had completed elementary education, 45.93% had completed high school and 13.73% had completed higher education, all indices above the Brazilian average. The average strength was 10.04 years expected from the study, more than the estimate from CIRA, 9.82. According to the same study, 4.14% of children aged 5 and 6 were not in school. The health indexes of the Fortaleza population are better than the Brazilian average. According to data from 2010, the infant mortality rate up to 1 year old was 15.8% in Fortaleza, against a Brazilian average of 16.7%. By 2013, 90.6% of children under one year of age had their immunization records up to date. In 2012, 37,577 live births were registered, and the infant mortality rate up to five years of age was 13.2%. Of the total number of children under two years old weighed by the Family Health Program in 2013, 0.8% were malnourished. In 2009, Fortaleza had a total of 35 general hospitals, of which 11 were public, 21 were private, 2 were philanthropic, and 1 was a trade union. The Dr. Jose Froda Institute is the largest hospital administered by the municipal government, and the General Hospital of Fortaleza is the largest hospital administered by the state government. In addition, it had 54 specialized hospitals and 8 polyclinics. The total number of physicians working in the health network of the municipality was 13,604, approximately 5.4 per thousand inhabitants. Fortaleza has 117 units of health posts, three administered by the municipality and six administered by the state. The first hospital built in Fortaleza was the Santa Casa de Misericordia, founded in 1861. Among the most important public health institutions in the city, the most important is the Dr. Jose Froda Institute the largest hospital administered by the municipal government, and the General Hospital of Fortaleza, the largest hospital administered by the state government. Among the private institutions, the largest are the Unimed Fortaleza Regional Hospital, Antonio Prudent Hospital, Monte Clinicum Hospital, and São Mateus Hospital. There are also, in Fortaleza, three units of the popular Pharmacy of Brazil. One of the most important basic health programs in Fortaleza is the Family Health Program, within which the city is in third place in the country in extension of coverage, with hundreds of teams distributed in dozens of care units. The Emergency Mobile Care Service, SAMU, is the municipality's health care service, which serves an average of 200 daily occurrences. Fortaleza is endowed with several medical courses, but the best and most traditional of them is that of the Faculty of Medicine of the Federal University of CIRA, created in 1948 which manages a large structure of specialized health institutions between hospitals and clinics, among them the University Hospital Walter Cantidio, leader in Latin America in liver transplantation. The Faculty of Medicine of the UFC is the 13th best medical school in Brazil, second best medical school in the North and Northeast regions and the best medical school in CIRA. UFC's medical degree is still one of the most popular in the country. The Pindo Martins, Fortaleza International Airport located in the center of Fortaleza, was built between 1996 and 1998, when it came to be classified as international. The airport is now undergoing an expansion process, from which the number of boarding bridges will increase from 7 to 16 and the passenger terminal will be expanded from 38,000 square meters to 133,000 square meters. In 2014, the airport was capable of serving 6.2 million passengers per year, but after expansion, capacity would be 11.2 million. Pindo Martins Airport is the third busiest airport in the northeast region and one of the busiest in the country, receiving on average 1,500 international aircraft and 65,000 domestic aircraft per year. In 2013, it received more than 5.9 million passengers. In 2013, Fortaleza had 908,074 vehicles, of which 511,109 were cars, and 229,154 motorcycles. Traffic density at peak times in the city is rated as the fourth largest in the country, 
with 48% of congested roads. The cycle network of Fortaleza is composed of 116.4 kilometers, of which 78.8 kilometers are cycle paths and 37.6 kilometers are cycle paths. The municipality also has a public bicycle system, Bicycleter, which had 40 stations and 400 units in April 2015. In 2015, the municipal taxi fleet was composed of four 886 vehicles, including common, adapted, and special use vehicles. The land access to the municipality is made by highways BR116, BR020, BR22, CE090, CE085, CE065, CE060, CE040 and CE025. The city's road transport system is regulated by the Fortaleza Urban Transportation Company, a 2 for an agency of the municipality of Fortaleza, while the transit of vehicles is supervised by the Municipal Authority of Transit. Public Services and Citizenship, AMC. The collective transport carried out by buses is called the Integrated Transportation System, SIP4, and its operation began in 1992. The system provides the user with options of transportation and access to the different zones of the city through the integration of single tariff and terminals regional authorities. The SIP4 network is based on three types of lines, those that integrate neighborhood terminal, those that integrate the terminal tow center of the city or to another terminal. The system of traffic monitoring is known by the acronym CTFOR, which stands for, Traffic Control of the Area of Fortaleza. The Fortaleza Metro is operated by Compania Quirins de Transportes Metropolitanos, Metro 4. Founded on May 2, 1997, the company is responsible for administration, construction and metro planning in Fortaleza and its metropolitan region. The system is headed by the government of the state of Sierra and is as current president Eduardo Hotz. The Fortaleza Metro started on October 1, 2014. As of 2014, 18 of the 20 stations planned for the South Line are in operation, along with nine stations of the West Line. Metro 4 is the rapid transit system for the city of Fortaleza. Engineiro João Altame Bus Station is the Fortaleza Bus Terminal official name. Was constructed in 1973. It carries a daily average of over 8,000 passengers. 35 bus companies and close to 200 bus lines. The bus station is centrally located within the city limits. Only from the city center and from Praia de Irsema Beach. Fortaleza bus station is accessible by at least two city bus lines, OV. Borges de Melo I and OV. Borges de Melo II. Fortaleza has multiple bus rapid transit, or BRT, lines throughout the city and has plans to extend this network off transportation. Brazil.org. Fortaleza officially has a bike lane. The average person in Fortaleza spends 89 minutes riding public transit on a weekday, and 30% of public transit riders ride for more than two hours every day. People typically wait 24 minutes at a stop or station for public transit. On average, 52% of riders wait for over 20 minutes every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 6.8 kilometers, while 10% travel for over 12 kilometers in a single direction. The main games of the Sierra State Championship are played in Fortaleza. There are several association football clubs in the city, including Sierra SC, Fortaleza EC and Ferroviario AC. It was one of the host cities of the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup and 2014 FIFA World Cup. Fortaleza is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.